and I'm going to say something potentially controversial, <clears throat> um, something that is, is often attacked, uh, high frequency trading, has made the world more just and fair, particularly for small investors. High frequency traders have, I, I watched the, the Republican debates last night, so I know to change the topic to something I'm comfortable with. They, they do a lot of different things, but the core trading strategy is just to do the other side of whatever you want to do. So if you want to trade, sell X, they'll buy it from you, and they charge a little thing called the bid-ask spread. They will buy it from you for a little less than they'll sell it to you for. And it's very competitive. They fight with each other to do your trade, so they can't just charge any bid-ask spread they want. That is always, but they get, they get attacked because they charge a bid-ask spread, and when you ask them to do a lot, they start moving the prices because they're getting scared that you might know something they don't know. But we've always had to trade with someone else. We've always needed market makers out there. Used to be much more expensive, worse bid-ask spreads, worse execution, particularly for the small person. There is some controversy with high frequency. Uh, I mean small investors, not literally small people. You know that, right? <laughs> for very large investors who are trading large amounts of money, there, I believe high frequency has made our trading costs cheaper. But there's at least an argument for the other side. Some will say market impact, what's, what, what the price moving on you when you try to execute and, and, buy, and, and, and buy or sell a lot of a stock is, is bigger now. I don't think so, but that's a fair argument. There is no argument for the little guy. What you worry about in trading is something called front running. Someone figuring out what you're doing and doing it before you. There's the illegal version where someone actually gets a peek at your, what you're doing, which they're not supposed to get. And then there's the completely legal version. People notice trades occurring and prices moving and, and think, oh, I, I better get in front. Maybe this is a wave. That's, that's, there's nothing uh, illegal about that, but it still costs you money. You, no one bothers. No one, no one front runs a small dollar investor. And it's not because people are nice and kind and care about. There's no money. You want to rob banks, not people. No, so there's no money in it. So the small investor, I think, unambiguously has a fairer, cheaper world.